Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I will be doing a video on how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 untethered. It is finally here for the iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3G, iPod Touch 4G, iPad 1G, basically all devices that run iOS 5, except for, of course, the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. We're going to go ahead and jump over to settings here, just to show that I am running 5.0.1 on this iPhone 4. Sorry, the camera is not focusing, but it is 5.0.1. So now we're just going to go ahead and do the steps. First of all, you're going to need to go to a special link in the description. You guys have probably been to it before. It's just the dev team's blog where you will find download links for Red Snow for Windows and Macintosh. Just go ahead and go down there. Like I said, links will be in the description. You're going to download the program and open it as usual. If you really need help with that, then I suggest go watching another video. But anyways, back on track. We're going to get right into the jailbreaking process right now. So first of all, we need to turn off our device as with any Red Snow jailbreaking tool. It's basically standard instruction if you've ever used this tool before. So this might be, might be old stuff for a lot of you guys, but it's still important to remember what to do so the jailbreak goes over smoothly. Once your device is turned off, of course, wait till the wheels start spinning or, or stop spinning around. You're going to need to wait for that, and then you're going to hold the power button for three seconds, Continue holding the power, hold the home for 10 seconds, and then let go of the power and continue holding onto the home until the Lime Rain exploit is, I guess, injected. It'll give you instructions on the screen, um, so if you really need help following it, go ahead and check it out on the screen. It's actually fairly easy to follow. Just make sure you do everything correctly, and if all else fails, then you can always try it again. So I'm just obviously putting my iPhone 4 into DFU mode right now, and once it starts saying, I guess, exploiting Lime Rain or whatever it says on the screen, you can go ahead and let go of the home button and let it do its thing. It's just basically doing some pre-jailbreak work right now, patching the kernel and some more technical stuff like that. We're going to let it run through that, and then we're going to go ahead and check out the options on this jailbreak tool, like install Cydia and enable multitasking gestures and, I guess, some custom packages if you'd like. On those options right there, really all you want to do is install Cydia unless you're a more advanced user. Or if you want to, you can enable multitasking gestures, but you really don't want to mess with anything else. So I'm actually going to go ahead and fast forward this video as we go through the jailbreaking process. As with any jailbreak, you are going to see a lot of code run down the screen. No need to be worried, this is totally normal as with many other jailbreaks, including I believe Green Poison. And Red Snow has always done this with its jailbreak, so no need to worry about that. Um, just a quick note or a quick reminder, this jailbreak does not work with the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S as those devices have an A5 chip, which is not compatible with GeoHot's Lime Rain exploit, which is used in this jailbreak in addition to Pod2G's Untether. Um, so we're just going to let, let this run through. We have the video sped up. It does take longer than you see in the video, so it will not actually go this quickly. It takes about a little over a minute, not too long. And then once it's done, we will um, go ahead and check out Cydia on our device. So we're going to wait a couple more seconds, wait for this to boot up. And voila, there we go. We're going to turn up our device and let's go ahead and check out Cydia. And finally, our device is booted back up and we're going to slide to unlock just to show that Cydia is indeed there. Cydia on an untethered, jailbroken iOS 5.0.1 iPhone 4. Now I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this and it's finally here and I'm just as excited as you are. Obviously, we still need to wait for the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S jailbreak, but it is coming soon as it appears that Pod2G is making good progress on the jailbreak. Um, so that's pretty much it for the jailbreak. I'm going to go ahead and show you one alternate method if you're already on a tethered jailbreak with an iPhone 4 or an iPod Touch 4G or any device that has a tethered jailbreak. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that right now. Now this process does require that you have a jailbroken iOS device on iOS 5.0.1 on a tethered jailbreak. So if you have a tethered jailbreak running on let's say an iPhone 4 in this case or any device on 5.0.1 that's on a tethered jailbreak, just hop into Cydia and search for Corona 5.0.1 on tether. It's on a default repo so no repos are needed to be added. All you have to do is tap install on this package. It will install and you do not even need to reboot. The untether is already installed and you can safely reboot your device without needing to plug that device into your computer. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at iAppOSX. Add me on Game Center as AppOSX. Consider donating to AppPod2G for all of his hard work. Retweet this video across the web. That's it. Thanks for watching.